Rick Hong here for Hollywood First Look Features. Tonight, we're at the red carpet for the Los Angeles Film Critics Awards. Let's take a first look. Founded in 1975, the Los Angeles Film Critics Association is comprised of Los Angeles-based professional film critics working in the Los Angeles print and electronic media. Los Angeles Film Critics Association members hold their annual awards vote honoring screen excellence on both sides of the camera. We built these ships, dredged these canals, in the San Francisco they never knew existed. This is our home. For a, for a smaller film like ours, critics can really mean a lot, and the critics, especially down here in LA, have been really supportive, and um, I think they can really help a film find a bigger audience than it would otherwise, so we feel really lucky. And I don't know, it's, it's, it's huge for us to be getting recognized like this, coming out, you know, just coming out of San Francisco, you know, um, we never could have imagined, and it's, it's, it's cool to have the love from, you know, not only just fans and people, but from, from critics as well, so um, it's, it's awesome. Talking about this movie, like Last Black Man in San Francisco, what I enjoyed about it was you guys told it from a unique perspective of like a love letter to San Francisco versus normally when I'm watching movies that take place in San Francisco, it's always about Silicon Valley, the tech, whatever, but this is a complete you know, love of a guy who loves like this brownstone house. Brownstone? Victorian. Yeah. Victorian. Victorian, Victorian house, yeah. I think uh, a lot of stuff isn't made by people from San Francisco, so that's kind of the difference. We're actually from there, born and raised. Um, I still live there, um, and we also made it with a bunch of Bay Area natives and people that know the city very well, so I think that, you know, that definitely played a big, played a big part in the, you know, portraying the authenticity of, of everything that was going on in the city, so uh, yeah, I think that's the biggest difference. I think, yeah, we're, we're you know, we're very afraid of what's happening to San Francisco. Like Jimmy said, we both grew up there, we feel very passionately about it, and yet it's going through these seismic changes that are really remaking the city, and yet there are these people that are fighting to stay there um, against all odds, and some have actually been able to you know, remain there. So yeah, we did want to celebrate those people as much as we wanted to you know, also, um, I guess, show the city that we were afraid we were losing. Did you have to learn how to skateboard for the movie, or did you already know how to skateboard? And because skate skateboarding in San Francisco with those hills is dangerous. Yeah, no, I knew how to skateboard before, so that was you know a part that was autobiographical about the story. I did have to learn how to row a boat, though. <laughs> so uh, that was interesting, learning how to do that in the Pacific Ocean. But uh, yeah, he's pretty good. He learned that day that we shot in the ocean, which I that probably has to be a first of anyone learning to row in the ocean. So, yeah. His talents go way beyond acting. How do you feel? This sounds different. I can see that. Diane, you need some peace. Well, I wanted to tell you congratulations. Best actress for Diane. How does it feel? It feels fantastic. I was shocked, to tell you the truth, and so grateful, and it's really exciting for me. I haven't had a chance to see it. What is it about this role, do you think, that's, that resonated with the critics to for you to like get the award tonight? I have no idea, but something did. <laughs> I really don't know. Well, how, about, how about the script? How about for you playing this character? Like, What was it about this character and the script that you're like, oh, wow, I, I, I enjoy doing? Very unusual screenplay, very unconventional. It was had a lot of mystery to it. There were a lot of things I didn't understand, and yet it felt oddly familiar, even though it took place in western Massachusetts, and I grew up in Texas and Oklahoma. But the, uh, the idea of a smaller town, a community of people taking casseroles to your neighbor, driving everywhere because it can't walk to these any place in these small towns, that was all very deeply familiar because of my grandparents living in Texas and spending my whole life visiting you know, seeing them every other holiday and every summer. and So it just resonated deeply with me. And it's an unusual story and screenplay, so I didn't really know if it would work, but I knew the experience of making it would be well worth my while, and it certainly was. 
J-Lo is here for you know winning the Best Supporting Actor for the Los Angeles Film Critics Award. How does that feel for you? Is it valid? There's got to be validation for you saying, I did something right directing her. Oh, that's very nice. I, I think we all did something right. I think this is a really hard movie to get made, but um, I think in a way it was just uh, in the, the casting, you know, just uh, finding the right people for the for the roles and and trying to give them the space to, to do their work and, and um, you know, uh, guide them in different ways. But I've, I've talked about it like going to the gym and, and, and being there with these true athletes and, and, and just piling weight on the bar. It's, it's really exciting to, to see her flourish. So Constance Wu talked about how wearing the four inch stilettos was a challenge. So did they ever tell you one day on set to say like, okay, you put those things on, you direct us all day and then see how your feet feel? Oh, I mean, I definitely put them on. I needed to know, obviously. <laughs> certainly, uh, certainly had to know what they were going through. Um, no, we, I took a liquid motion class with Constance and uh, tried my best floor work. I was really not good, um, but uh, she was great, fortunately. So that's why you didn't make the cut to be in the movie, I see. <laughs> that's right. That was my audition for myself. From here, you can do the carousel. Just switch and wrap. Wow, it was just going crazy. How was it shooting that scene? It was electric. Uh, we, we just wanted to treat it like the live event that it was. We had 300 extras. Um, I gave a little walkthrough of when they were going to throw their money, and and, uh, and then she came in the room, and, and I mean, obviously wowed everybody. She had trained so hard for that scene, so we treated it like a stunt, had as many cameras going as we could, and tried to lean into that theme of control, and it was just, I mean, the mood in the room was something else. It was my birthday, so it was an extra bonus for me. <laughs> you did a great job on your birthday, then. Yes, it was a good party. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I'm Rick Hong.